Hey everyone, it's the Yellow Chili with another episode of Let's Play Empyreon Galactic Survival. This is episode 5, and we just uh, did a lot of work during the night. We gathered resources, we... Um, uh, what else did we do? We killed a couple of golems, we went to level 7, we just made a drill, as you can see down here. Um, which is now our uh, replacement for the soon-to-be-retired survival tool. And um, it's a new day, and we're going to do some exploration today. We really only know a very small portion of this planet. And, um, yeah, actually, we need to get to know a little more. We need deposits, we need to see where POIs are, and um, that's what we're going to do today. All right. Beautiful sunrise. Um, it's a little dry here, but I am beginning to like this planet. Not particularly this one, but uh, this type of planet because um, there are other planets like this that have like these oases that are really, really cool. Um, they just look really nice. And um, I think um, what we might do if we are not um, tired of this kind of planet, we might actually relocate to another arid planet. Um, and then um, one that has a breathable atmosphere, so that would get rid of the whole oxygen thing. And on the other hand, we would be able to um, sort of, yeah, not have to leave the environment. And I really like this, this, these biomes here. But we'll see. Um, all right, we need to go west, of course. Um, we will go north, west past that huge lake and then see what we encounter so we are we want to go northwest um, I am thinking it may be smart to bring um, to bring at least like we don't need that much oxygen but we are probably gonna want to bring this guy so uh, let's pick it up uh, this should be fine. We can uh, take this oxygen and add it to here. We can take the water and make more emergency O2, uh, which we're going to do right about now. And um, as you can see here, the lights are still on, and um, we really don't need these during the day. So um, if you go to the P menu and to the main tab, you see a lot of switches here. And we're going to want to turn the lights off for now. Um, there's a lot of other stuff uh, that you could potentially attach to a hover vessel, like turrets and weapons, but we don't have that, and we do not need it right now. So, um, we're not in desperate need of resources. Do I still have anything in the cargo hole? It seems so heavy. There's wood in here. Um, yeah, let's pick that up. We don't need to have that in the cargo hold. We want to uh, go as high as possible. Alright, let's see. Oh, and by the way, um, going into one direction, it doesn't matter which one, you can go straight forward, you can go forward right, right, only right, left, back, um, and then pressing the control key will lock it. It's like a cruise control thing, so you don't have to pay attention to uh, holding that forward key all the time, which is really handy. Um, so the only thing that can really stop you is uh, obstacles, like trees, like um, rocks, but we should be sufficiently high so that um, smaller rocks will not stop us. Alright, so far there's nothing too interesting here. Um, and we are going straight back into uh, darkness, right? Let's oh, a copper deposit, nice! Let's check the map. Oh, there's Xerox territory, right here. So this may be where the drones will come from in the future. Um, there's copper. Um, I am thinking we're not going to take that right now because we want to do a lot of exploration. There's silicon that's even better. We want to do a lot of exploration and um, now filling up our cargo hold is not the best idea. There's a large wreckage. We're definitely going to take a look at that because large wreckages uh, offer a, a wide variety of resources. So, um, an iron deposit. So, so this is actually the area we should have gone to after landing here. Because there's usually, on every starter planet, near the, um, near the place where you crash, there is, um, an iron, copper, and silicon deposit. So, um, but we are not in desperate need, so we'll check that out later. Uh, it is a large wreckage. It should have a cargo box. It has a personal cargo box, but I assume it, um, that one is not operational. 
Oh, it is. Whoa, nice. This is real nice. We have corn, fiber plant, pear thing, and blue pepper sprout. We can, oh my god, we can immediately start um, our agricultural um, game. So we can just uh, get some um, some grow plots. I think we, we even have to. We can just um, enable them. And maybe we'll build a couple more. We have um, spoiled food that you need uh, in order to go to make grow plots. So this is really good. Um, we could check if there's anything else that's worth um, looting in this one. But I don't think there is. Like sometimes there is, there are thrusters in uh, large wreckages. And those provide uh, really good resources, but this one doesn't. So, all right. But I'm still glad we checked it out. This personal cargo box was really nice. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. So we still kind of want to go west. Go west. Life is peaceful there. Actually, looking at the map, it seems like life is not so peaceful up here. There's the Xerox territory, and we don't want to mess with them right now because we don't have a weapon. The only weapon we have is the survival tool, and the survival tool will not allow us to go up against Xerox soldiers. Okay, um, I really want to avoid the, the night because I don't want you guys to uh, see more darkness. Um... I looked at the last episode, and even with the lights on, sometimes things are quite hard to see, so um, I might skip night in the future, but we'll see. Oops, there, there's silicon. I like silicon. And I am thinking we might not make another HV. I'm not a, a huge fan of HVs. Um, and since we have a base, we might immediately start construction on a SV. Because that will give us a lot more mobility and it also enable us to uh, get to that POI we discovered earlier, that unknown helix, I believe it was. And um, being new to the game, something you should always pay attention to is POIs that have lootable alien containers because those contain the best resources. I think I'm gonna rearrange this. Yeah, um, once I show you one of those containers, uh, I will. you will see what I mean. They don't look like regular containers. They don't look like cargo boxes like this one. Uh, but they have a distinct um, look. And those usually Oh no, let's put it this way. They always contain um, more stuff than all cargo boxes you, f you find in POIs. And they, a lot of them, especially the rare ones, or very rare one, ones, they contain very rare uh, materials. Either a Zascosium or a Restroom or both. Sometimes they contain uh, optronic matrices. Um, I'll get to that later, which is, uh, those are important for the CPU ex extenders. Um, if you can't find those, you have to make them with gold. But um, as I said, those alien containers, they all usually contain them. At least a few at every POI. And um, stuff like that. Sometimes they contain repair bays or advanced weapons. You can either use them or dismantle them, them with a um, deconstructor um, that we're go going to build in a later phase of this game. So um, I'll get to that again. It's a little cloudy today. Um, I was hoping we would be getting a um, more sunny day. Oh, there's a there's the radiant biome again. Is that the one we know? No, it is not. Oh, we're going straight into Xerox territory. Let's uh, avoid that. You can see a Xerox building there. That red thing at the horizon. And yeah, it says we're entering Xerox territory and our current reputation is unfriendly. That means they're going to start shooting once they see us. Oh, there they are. Up, up, up. Let's go back. We don't want to mess with them right now. Okay, we're out of their territory. Um, let's see what we have here. There's another lake, I'm tempted to say. Maybe swamp, too. Kind of looks like it. 
So, um, generally, um, we now have a base that's uh, quite far away from the water, which is okay, because we didn't have to build it, we just uh, took, a, took it over. And um, generally, I suggest building the base not too far away from the water, because um, later in the game you will need water for various things. First of all, you can um, make oxygen from water. Uh, I mean, we're making it out of the atmosphere right now, but this is no good for making uh, larger amounts of oxygen. Also, you're going to want to get water because you need hydrogen. Uh, sorry, not hydrogen. Um, you need... Yeah, hydrogen... Hydro Let's start this again. You need hydrogen bottles to make... Um, Power cells, or fusion cells they're called, um, which are the um, highest level of energy, yeah, of energy container, sort of. They're basically like the, like the gas we are making right now, but with a much higher capacity, so. And we're gonna pick up these oranges, and I hope we're, we can find some more. There's more over here, because our health is still quite low. And I'm thinking, can this guy make orange juice? Yeah, it can. It can make fruit juice. That's beautiful. Because we're going to make that right about now. And you're going to want to look around occasionally, because um, even if you arrive somewhere and can't see anything or anybody, believe me, people and creatures will sneak up on you at some point. Okay, let's get that. And have it right away. It's quite nice. Okay, what? Oh, this is still Xerox territory, so we're gonna have to go through, or not through, but over. I thought this was water. It looked like water, but it's just a desert. Okay, I will t show you how you how to handle these guys. They're really not at all dangerous. They will run away from you even. And the only thing they have is a lot of HP. They will not attack you, even if you attack their their little ones. And we're gonna get all of them because we need some meat. We're running low on food. We don't have much on us. And they also give us milk. Now, I'm not entirely sure if we can use milk right now. I am almost certain we cannot. For, the, for those of you who think this is cruel, what I'm doing right now, I agree, it is cruel, but we have to survive somehow. It's either them or us, right? And this one wouldn't survive without its parents, so we might as well take it. Here we go. We got 16 meat. That is beautiful. And now it would really pay off to have a constructor in the HV because we would then be able to make. Uh, whoa. What the heck's going on there? Oh, I think that was just a glitch. Or maybe haunted. Gets up and falls down again. We just reached level 8. That's great. Yeah, see, there's this uh, Xerox building. Do we have any oxygen in this vessel? We do, but not a lot. So we're gonna take... Uh, we're gonna take, put this stuff in our inventory. We're gonna make more of it. And also, to refill fuel or oxygen, you can either, either go to the P menu and main and then do it down here or from the logistics network you can just select hover vessel select the three uh, dashes and go to oxygen or fuel right now we want to fill the fuel thing oh this is great um, we can just put everything else in the fridge and uh, we might actually want to make some steaks the next time we get out of the vessel okay we're we looking we don't want to get too close to that building. Oops! See, they even have robots, so um, they're guarding their um, their border. And let's not 
let's say, let's not introduce ourselves to them just now. Let's do that later. We might, however, take some resources from their territory, but iron is something we really don't need. There's more meat walking around, but we don't need that either, at least not very urgently. Okay, we're going to put this down. Uh, oh, shoot. Um, not in the fridge. Please put this in the container. Con not this. Sorry, guys, I'm confused, apparently. We want to put this meat in here. We're gonna make uh, steaks, and while we're at that, we will switch back to defense mode, and we're gonna kill this guy for more meat. Yep, he even gave us meat. Like I said, they give you meat most of the time, but sometimes they don't. Yeah, see, this one doesn't have meat; it just has the alien parts. Um, Wait, no, we don't want to use the survival tool anymore. You see, the even with the surface rocks, the drill um, takes them apart much more quickly, so you're really going to want to get a drill as soon as it becomes available. Whoops, I can't see! Alright. Gotcha. But we're not going to add that meat to um, to those to the meat we already have in here because it takes a while. In fact, I think we're gonna um, let it let the constructor make one more meat, um, one more steak, and that'll be it for now. In the meantime, we can get uh, some uh, more copper, some aloe vera, some plant fibers, and some more silicon. Whoops. Alright, that should be fine. Okay, more meat. Pick this guy up. And. Let's um, put the food in the fridge for now, because we don't need it. And put this in the container controller. We're going to continue going west. Actually, we might pick up some more of this stuff. Whoops, I didn't want to do that. Now I'm thinking, do we want to go around the globe at least once? I think we do. Because then at least uh, we'll, we'll know one sort of area, like one, three, you always uh, discover three tiles because you discover the one you're in and the one, all the ones around it. So the, the farther we advance we will always have this corridor of three tiles. So, um, I'm tempted to just, um, yeah, go around the globe once. Oh, there's more Xerox guys. See, see, they even have sort of dogs. And then there's these earth worms or whatever they are. But we're not going to stop and say hello to neither of them. This is just like a recon mission. See, there are more of these guys. Uh, I think they are similar to the insects. They will not attack you unless provoked, which means you either shoot at them or you stay in their vicinity for too long. So, um... Alright. What's here? Iron. We don't need iron. Let's put the this in the container controller. I was really hoping for a sunny day, but um, I guess this is just uh, me being in uh, sort of Corona quarantine, not having seen too much sun in a while, and I just really want to go on holidays or something. Whoops, what was that? Was that silicon? No, it was iron. Are we still on track? Yeah, we are. Pretty good. Oops. 
there is silicon. We're going to take that. Yeah, um... Since I just had this open, the drill is capable of a few things. It can either drill resources. There's a fine drill option, which is really good if you want to uh, make small adjustments, especially when building um, your base. Then there is the filler, which means you can um, add something to, for, for instance, here you can just add something if you accidentally dug a hole and you want to close it. And then there's the flattening tool that I'm not too interested in using, let's put it this way, I don't hate it, but it usually doesn't do what I want it to do, so I don't use it very much. But I guess you're just gonna have to try it out. Okay, I guess we don't need an SV, we can fly. Woohoo! Well, I think we're off track right now. To turn right slightly. We're gonna pick up the silicon. And for. I was actually hoping we would be able to discover some sort of. Uh, some POIs. There is an irradiated biome. We're gonna go there because. Unless it's in Xerox territory, is it? I don't think it is. Because we really want to get, oh uh, yeah, more silicon too. But we really want to get more, whoops, see this is exactly what I mean. Now I dug a hole, if this were near my base, I would just uh, close it again with a filler tool. Doesn't always look good, but uh, it'll do the job. Because most of the time when you do that near the base, you you can you know build something on top of it to hide it. But the, this would actually be an awesome uh, feature if you could recolor terrain that you accidentally dug out. So, um, refilling and recoloring would be really, really nice. But then again, this is an early access game, so um, it may be planned for the future. In fact, I'm quite sure it's going to be added once there's nothing else to do, because it's probably not going to be that hard. I mean, we have a color tool for, um, for vessels and bases, so, whoops, what's happening here? Okay. Pressing N instead of M. I'm not too sure if we need more silicon. In fact, uh, let's not get more silicon right now. But we do want to get Promethium. Let's hope there's not one of these uh, spitting bugs around because it'll probably kill us in an instant. actually take the pentaxid. We don't need it right now, but uh, it's always nice to have. Um, when you need it, it's nice to have it. And we're gonna have to have to make um, a shower because we are accumulating body radiation. I was talking about this earlier, and um, while it's not bad at the moment, um, we can't do this forever. We could potentially also get a medium or heavy suit, but um, I don't think we're going to have that too soon, so getting rid of the body radiation is probably the easier way. Um, I've read um, in some forums that a lot of you see there's one of those spitting bugs. <clears throat> a lot of people are not quite happy with the way radiated fog works. <clears throat> Sorry. And um, because it's not only here, radiated fog can strike your base. Crash Titan rear, that's nice. Uh, radiated fog will also uh, occasionally swipe over planet, I think over every type of planet except tropical, probably. Because radiated fog supposedly comes from Prometheum. Maybe Pentaxid, I'm not too sure about that, but I think it comes from Promethium. I mean, surely a material that provides this much energy um, will have some sort of radiation, so... 
Um, and I like the way it occurs. Like I like being in my base. I usually build a bit, build the base uh, in a way that I also have like a living um, part of the base. So it's really nice being inside and then looking outside, um, knowing okay, there's this really hazardous, dangerous environment out here, and I'm just getting comfortable inside. So I I think it adds a great deal to the atmosphere of the game. Whoa. Just wow. This is big. But I believe this is the one without the without thrusters. There are different kinds of um, of crashed vessels. Some have thrusters and a lot don't. Okay, we don't have that much volume left our container controller and we probably won't be able to lift off if we add too much of it I, I will definitely go to to the tanks and withdraw the fuel because you can withdraw fuel from public or your own tanks this gave us 31 fuel cells that is amazing and you don't need to check every tank because they are connected. Um, so now if you click this one, it will also be empty. Okay, there is a lot of stuff to loot here. And we're going to start right about now. There is a medium armor, guys. Wasn't I just talking about this? I like it. There is a multi-tool. We don't actually need that. I would love a T2 multi-tool because that would really be a different story. We don't actually need hardened steel right now. Um, it is nice to have later on because it consists of um, steel. Wait, we can set this to private, right? Can't because we don't have a core. Um, hardened steel consists of iron and of um, sathium. And sathium is not on this planet, so it is nice to have this um, hardened steel available. But not it's not necessary at the moment. Oh, that's T12. That's too bad. I would have loved a T2 multi tool. Okay, let's salvage this antenna. They also give you really good resources sometimes that is. Mm, we're going to try to retrieve these tanks because in a public POI there is a chance when retrieving them like you usually only get the materials because it's not your own thing. But there is a chance you just get that, what you just saw deconstructing, but we weren't so lucky, unfortunately. Okay, we're just going to continue going through this. Um, there should be a path somewhere. This is probably supposed to be a ladder, but ladders don't work in this game. There is oxygen, but I don't think we can carry too much of that. We can carry a little bit. This is a large O2 bottle. This is the one that you get out of uh, water once you refine it. And um, this you can only put in tanks. You cannot refill your suit with it. But there is still 109 in here, so we might. You can only withdraw a minimum of 250. So let's, uh, yeah, let's just put two in here. And get another one of these guys. That's great. There's another container here. Glass. We don't need glass. Well, we do need glass, but not this much. Okay. Let's see what else is in here. There's another container here. Optical fiber, we could always use that. It's an intermediate product. There's nanotubes, there's the glass plate. This is great. Uh, I think, I'm thinking we're going to deconstruct this console. Yeah, it gives you computers. That's also quite nice. This probably... Whoops. This is probably supposed to be thrusters, or what's left of them. Let's check if there's anything in here. It doesn't actually look like it. Now, this vessel has crashed into the ground. Um, we could, if we wanted to, we could um, dig a hole underneath it and check if there are any more containers. But I am not too confident there's going to be anything really, really good in this one. I think there. Uh, I've, I've played a game where I 
looted this vessel and dug a hole underneath it and it didn't really do a lot. There wasn't anything to loot. So we're just going to take the drone, retrieve this O2 tank. We got an energy matrix from that. This is very nice. There's a door. Let's get that. And there's an upper level. Oh, wow. We got one furnishings. That's nice because furnishings includes um, beds, uh, showers. And there is a jetpack boost in this one. This is nice too. Um, boosters, whatever you, you're you looting, you're always going to want to pick them up because if, even if you don't need them, you can sell them. And they give you a quite nice amount of, uh, of gold once you're, once you're able to sell them. I think we're going to take this glass too. Was that not glass? It gave us computers. Glass usually doesn't consist of computers. Electronics, that's nice too. Um, your drone has a maximum range, by the way. This is what's uh, causing this losing contact thing. There's another level here. Is there anything lootable? Oh yeah, this definitely. I'm going to take all the electronic stuff. Alright guys, that is it for now. I don't think this uh, POI has any any other interesting stuff to loot. Um, I will probably check it off camera um, and I will let you know in the next episode uh, whether I found something. Um, if you like this video, if you like uh, the whole series, please like, subscribe and uh, share the videos, comment. Uh, I would appreciate it and I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.